Today's video is going to be a full face of Sephora dupes. I am so excited for this video. Now, of course, these are not exact dupes, but some of these I think are pretty similar or at least on the face look very similar. The products are great. Of course, again, not exact. But yeah, I'm very excited for this. If you are new, please subscribe. I just love makeup. It is a whole lot of fun. I can't contain myself, so let's get into this video. And if you guys have any good high-end dupes for us, please, please let us know in the comments. All right, for the eyes, as we know, Alter Ego has some similar palettes to high-end palettes. So today I want to do a look with the Sakura palette. They did send me this in PR. I'll tell you some of the other stuff in this video was set in PR. Um, I'll let you know along the way. Now, this is a beautiful palette. I have used it. I did film a short with it. Um, that was my take on strawberry makeup. And it's awfully similar to the Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette. Now, formulas are not exact. The Alter Ego formula is a bit thinner, but it is still very nice. As you can see, color story pretty similar. So... I'm gonna do a look with this one. I wanna start with this shade Petal in the crease. I'm gonna to try to do the eye look as quickly as possible because I have so many exciting face products to talk about. I've got cream products, I've got foundation, I've got, I've got a lot to talk about in this video. So I gotta get this going, but I really, really think that this formula is quite nice. I have several of their other palettes, and I have to say I'm pretty impressed. I'm also really into their eye primer. I've been wearing that every single day. I'm going to put this shade. It is a shimmer, but I'm going to put that in the outer corner. It's called Plum. Yeah, and if you didn't see my short on um, strawberry makeup look, check that out using this palette. I have to say these little trends like strawberry girl makeup latte makeup they're pretty fun so at least it's like an inspiration for me to try something a little bit different all right so for the shimmers i'm going to start with this shade radiant on the inner part it's a beautiful mint very pretty i like this shade a lot and then I'm going to go with this shade Fair here, kind of in the center of the lid. Ooh, I like that. And like I said, the other Alter Ego palettes that I have, I feel like the quality is very, very good. All right, very nice. So I'm just going to blend this out and I'll be back. Okay, if you like pore filling primers like I do, I love the Smashbox Original Photo Finish. The Wet n Wild Impossible Primer is fantastic. It's an amazing smoothing primer. And interestingly, this one says it's silicone free, but to me it acts just like a silicone based primer. And I think it's, it's really good. It's one of the best primers I've ever tried. And it is one of these clear type of primers, but it's just, it's really nice. I particularly like these type of smoothing primers because I do feel like they fill in my forehead lines and my smile lines and they do keep my foundation on longer. So yeah, this one from Wet n Wild, absolutely fantastic. This one we already know is a dupe, okay? I've been talking about it, everybody's talking about it, but I'm here to tell you one more time, this is an amazing product. The e.l.f. Halo Glow Filter, dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. I used to have the Charlotte Tilbury one, I used it all up, and I feel like I like the e.l.f. almost even more. It's only $14, it's amazing. I have shade one, and I just, I love this to add a glow. So I often just kind of put some on my face and then put my foundation on top and then blend it out. So we're going to do this. And then let me talk about the foundation. So this is such a good foundation. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. And I think if I were to compare this to a high-end foundation, I think either Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk or Estee Lauder Double Wear, which for me are full coverage and long lasting but not cakey looking and that's what this foundation does 
I am so impressed. I have shade F5.5. And yeah, I really think, yeah, I would say those two high-end foundations to me are definitely the most similar. And it's just good stuff, guys. It really, really is. It lasts great throughout the day, which is very important to me because if I'm going to wear makeup, I'm going to, I don't want to want it to last all day. I rarely wear makeup for just like two hours. That's not really something I'm doing, but I'm very excited. I have a lot more dupes to talk about in this video. So and if you guys have some other dupes or similar, you know, of course, they're not exact, but you get it. All right. So concealer, definitely. This is a concealer that a lot of people have talked about. Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. I love this. It's a good full coverage concealer. Now I'm trying to think what high-end concealer this is similar to. It actually kind of reminds me of the one from Colfi, which I really like. Also Tarte Shape Tape. Tarte Shape Tape isn't technically sold at Sephora, but you get it. Um, this is a really nice drugstore full coverage concealer that's not too drying. I feel like a lot of drugstore concealers that I tried in the past um, either had like no coverage or felt kind of drying on the under eye area and I have a lot of lines under my eyes. So I'm not here for that, but the e.l.f. it's really good stuff. All right, these dupes, you've definitely heard me talk about the Makeup Revolution Cream Bronzer. I love this. It is so fantastic. I have a shade light, and I think it is pretty much exactly the same as the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer, which I love as well. The shades I have, though, are not exact. Um, the shade I have in the Fenty, I would say this is slightly deeper. This is the shade Macchiato. I still love the Fenty one. It's amazing. But the Makeup Revolution, I mean, I can't argue against it. It's a really, really good cream bronzer. It just blends out so easily. I just kind of put my sponge in there. You can use a brush as well. You know, you've got, you've got options. No matter what you do, I'm telling you, this bronzer... You could br just blend this out with your fingers and it's going to look good. So absolutely love this. All right. The next dupe you've heard a lot about, I'm sure, the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand Blush. Of course, I think these are dupes for the Charlotte Tilbury. I haven't tried the blush version of the Charlotte Tilbury, but I did have the highlighter and I completely finished it up. And I mean, I think the formula is similar. I mean, I think this is nice. I really like this. I have the shade, which one do I have? Candlelit. The only thing you have to be very careful is not to squeeze out too much. But I think this formula is lovely, blends out easily. And the sponge tips, let me tell you, because I had a Charlotte Tilbury one, like I said, I had the highlighter. Same thing. You've got to be careful that you're not squeezing out too much because I feel like just everything that has this sponge tip packaging is just bound to get messy. So no matter what brand you're buying it from, I feel like that that is definitely going to happen. But very nice glowy blush. I could have put more on, but that is okay. All right, I'm going to set my face with the Wet n Wild um, Bare Focus Powder. I love this. And I've been fair light. As you can see, I have hit pan. And I don't know that this is necessarily a dupe for any high-end powder. It's just really, really good. And I admit, I haven't really tried a powder from Sephora in a very long time because I have found some really amazing drugstore powders. And I've been just kind of sticking with those. So I love this one. I love the e.l.f. Halo powder. I love the one from Essence. So I don't know. There's all these like powders like the Givenchy and the whatever, whatever. I don't even know. I just haven't really bought a high-end powder in a long time. I just haven't really needed to. So this one is absolutely fantastic. I really, really like it. I'm also going to add a little bit of this elf blush in the shade always cheeky these are amazing i really like these again i don't know that these are like 
an exact dupe to, you know, anything high end, but it's a good blush. That much I can tell you. All right. So highlighter. Um, I have a new highlighter to talk about. Um, I do plan on doing a drugstore makeup haul. I recently bought this one from Essence and it's amazing. So this is the uh, Gimme Glow Luminous Highlighter from Essence. I have shade 10 Glowy Champagne. It is lovely. Let me pull out this one, Champagne Pop, which I think these are quite similar. The formula is very lovely and smooth on the Essence one. Champagne Pop is slightly more golden, but not by much. This is Champagne Pop. This is the Essence one. I would say the Essence is just a bit lighter, but texture wise, which is very important for a highlighter. This one from Essence is so smooth. There's no chunks in it. There's no glitter. It's just, it's a really pretty formula. I am super, super impressed. Look at that. It's so pretty. I am just like really, really into it. I think it's great. And I'm excited to share that drugstore haul because I got some other good stuff from Essence and Kiko Milano. Um, but anyway, that's not what this video is about. I need to get back to it. Um, lip products. I don't know. Brow products. I just, I have brow products that I like. Essence, Elf. I don't know that they're dupes because again, I haven't like bought a lot of high-end brow products in a while. So yeah, let me just do like mascara and stuff and then I need to talk about lips. All right, the makeup is done and these brow products, I don't know that they're dupes, but they're just really, really good. The e.l.f. brow pencil, I love it. I've repurchased this many times in the past and I hadn't had it for a while and I bought it recently and I'm like, oh yeah, that was a great brow pencil and I really enjoy it. I have the shade Neutral Brown and then this is becoming like my absolute favorite tinted brow mascara of all time, which I knew because I had it before, but then I hadn't bought it for a few years. Anyway, the Essence Make Me Brow. It's amazing. I love tinted brow mascaras. I do not like clear brow mascaras because they just leave my brows crunchy. And this one's awesome. What shade do I have? Brownie brows. Awesome. And so this is actually a mascara that I previously mentioned I didn't love. However, I think this is one, the more you use it, it kind of gets better along the way. I don't know, because now I'm liking it more. Last month I wasn't loving it, but now I do like it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, the Maybelline Sky High. I don't know. I thought at first it was only okay, but the more I've used it, it's really, really nice. Rubber wand, great definition and length, a little bit of volume lasts all day, doesn't flake or smudge. I don't know. I kind of changed my mind about that one. Okay. I have been raving about the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lip Liner in the shade Dana. Amazing. Absolutely love it. But I do think this formula is very similar to the ColourPop formula. I really do. Now these shades are not exact. I have the shade Dana and today I'm wearing ColourPop and Beeper, but creamy formula lasts well throughout the day. The formulas are similar, guys. They are, but I do love the shade Dana. It's very lovely. And there's all these like lip oils. Everybody's talking about the lip oils, like those Dior lip oils. They're like $40. I haven't bought one of those. And I don't know that I want to spend $40 on a lip oil. That seems extreme, even for me. But the NYX lip oil, this is the fat lip oil. These are great. Absolutely love the formula. Comfortable, smooth. I have the shade Scrollin'. So I'm wearing Scrollin' and Beeper lip liner today. That's it. This is a really good lip oil. Why would I want to spend $40 on the Dior? I don't know. Let me know. Do you have the Dior ones? Because everyone says they're really good. But this is like $10 a target. So I'm sticking with that. All right. So that is it for my full face of Sephora dupes. Let me know what you think. Have you tried any of these? I think all these products are great. I love the eye look with the Sakura palette. I mean, it's stunning. So that is it. Let us know what you think. If you are new, please subscribe. And yeah, hope you guys are having a great day.